The funding that we received allowed us to literally keep going. We were actually um, pretty antiquated in here. We were able to upgrade our website, get e-commerce, get a POS system and, and uh, be current finally. So without it, honestly, I think we would have had to wrap it up. We had to lock our door. We could let, allow women in for cancer patients uh, for wigs, but uh, other than that, no one. So we were able to take that time, like over five months of redoing everything and getting um, educated and knowledge about e-commerce and inputting all of our product out there um, into cyberspace so people could buy it. Uh, so it was, it would never have happened. Honestly, COVID made that happen. And then us receiving grants is how we were able to go forward with it. So super grateful for that. Which, well, we're in better shape now. People have um, uh, gotten to know us even through our Facebook lives that we do and the uh, e-commerce we've been putting it out there. We're prepared to allow a few people in because we already did that last March. And uh, we're in much better shape because of you know, upgrading um, our whole system really. So we're, we, you know, we're pretty excited about that. Well, we received these grants. So the people that gave us the money, the grants, and I'm so sorry, I can run and get that for you. Um, they have connected with us, they've supported us. There's, they're under one umbrella, but there were two different grants and um, they were there for us the whole way trying to get us to, you know, embrace the new technology and so on. So they literally had a whole segment of people that helped us with that. Um, so that then they asked us to, we actually had to report back and we talked about how incredibly internally grateful we were for this. And so they said they were touched by that. So they called us up and asked us to be on this uh, live Facebook Zoom thing that happened today with uh, the, the mayor and various other people.